Hey guys, it's Brenda with Vintage Adventure, and I have a haul for you today. Got quite a bit of stuff today. It's kind of amazing, or this week. Um, had a sad story, though. Bought this um, on my trip to Red Wing with my friend last Friday, and I think I showed all these items. This got bids up to $41, and it still had like four days left, and I broke it. So I had to cancel the auction and text the last person who had bid. It happened to be somebody who offered me something before the auction started. Now she wants me to glue it back together and just mail it to her, and she would pay the postage. So I don't know what to do about that, but boy, that was... Actually, that was my only sale in the last couple of days was this auction. So that's very sad. So beware when you're hauling your junk around <clears throat> that you don't break it. Monday, I went off to the um, uh, the New Day thrift store by my work, and they had a couple of pieces of Peggy Carr. I only bought one of them. They had a plate for $10, which I thought was too much because I've got some that are sitting. But this ornament pendant or sun catcher in the box with the... Um, paperwork information about Peggy Carr glass which is pretty cool um, and the silk cord I think I paid three dollars for this so I was happy with that find yeah three dollars so that's unusual hadn't seen that before bought a couple of rhinestone a pair of rhinestone coral earrings for three or two dollars three dollars those are very pretty, clear rhinestones. Got a little pill box for a dollar. And then the final item was 50 cents, and it was the best thing. It was a little, um, I, is it a Navajo pin? A little sterling pin with the inlay. I've sold a couple of these before, about $35. This one is smaller, so not sure. It is signed by, it looks like Rex, whoops, or um, Rice. It's signed by Rice. So that was probably the best buy out of that entire shopping trip. Oh, there was also this little, I forget what these are called, but you can find them easily, the miniature teapots. Um, they're about... 20 to 30 dollars too some of them are more i think this is more of a tourist piece it doesn't look like it has a lot of age but um it's that dark brown pottery oh one other item too spent a dollar on this kenneth cole reaction wallet another piece nice color i thought that would be good for spring and then where did i go <clears throat> let's see i went into work Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, I went off to my thrift store, which is kind of like a Savers. It's a for-profit. But they also, every day, they have color tag sales. So they had 25% off green, 50% um, off pink, and 75% off yellow. So I saw these. They're yellow tag, $3.99. So they were about a buck a piece. But had never really seen this brand before. It's called Nico um, Country Market Collection. Little soup terrines, just adorable with the little um, swans or ducks on them. Or there's some cows as well, geese maybe. But for a dollar a piece, there was a set that sold on eBay three, a set of three for I think $35. So that was a great find. They're all in perfect shape. They were all a dollar a piece. Really liked those. Thought they were cool. Then I picked up this piece of jewelry. I had a little time to look at the jewelry. This was half off. It's a little painted porcelain treble clef with some holly. I thought that would be cute for Christmas music pin. Really nicely painted and glazed, though. Love that. And then here's something I really don't know anything about. It's kind of an Art Deco trivet made by Villaroy and Bach, Dresden, Dresden, Saks, New York. 
But it's got a really nice deco design on it. This one I paid full price for. But boy, there's a lot of stuff at that store. I came out of there with a basket full. And I don't go there a lot. And I probably should make that my noontime trip. I'll get the rest of that sticker off. A really nice little blue Art Deco porcelain trivet. <clears throat> Sorry, it's early morning, so I've got congestion. Um, these two pieces were also blue. T or This one was 25% off, I think. Little porcelain egg with a tiger lily. There's no maker's mark on it, but I thought it was cute. Nice little trinket box in really good shape. It's got the metallic the guild on there. Um, just in good shape. There's a lot of Limoges brand porcelain eggs. Those are really a bolo. Be on the lookout for. They can sell pretty well. Then this little <clears throat> vintage Japan uh, ring box with the music. It's called Finch. It's got a couple of little finches on the front. But the little music box works really good. I paid $2.99 for that. <clears throat> yeah, I got so much stuff, it was kind of crazy. Um, here's another piece. This was half off. This is Hosley Pottery um, with some drip glaze. It's both got matte and... Um, Kind of a coated glaze. Buck fifty. Another piece of pottery from the um, the uh, my thrift store. This is Old House Pottery, Seagrove, North Carolina. I have another piece of pottery made in Seagrove, North Carolina that has crystalline on it. But this is a nice little I don't know ginger jar or tea jar, something like that. So lots of scores on pottery, for sure, at that store. Um, then, luckily, I got a bunch of these that I'll be able to recoup my losses from that horrible tragedy. These are a bolo. Um, they always price their sun, most of their sunglasses and reading glasses at 99 cents in the cases. So that's a pl great place to go. I did buy this case and five pairs of iBob's reading glasses. I had all these cases. I had been hoarding them, so they all have their own case now. Um, but this was the craziest. This is such a good find for me. I used to wear them myself. The first pair that I ever bought was at the Neiman Marcus Last Call in Minneapolis. That's not there anymore. Um, but they're about 60 to to $100 new, these reading glasses. These are all 2.75s, so must have came from one person. Um, these are going to be a quick sale at $29 to $39. Um, there's three that are this style. This is called um, Fair and Square. Here's another pair that are similar. These are blue. These are iBob's Fair and Square. So I guess there's only one outlier and that's in this pack. Um, these are the same Fair and Square ones. I think they're with the green, the tortoise shell in the green. Um, but these are, what are these called? These are also 2.75s. They are called Hung Jury. <laughs> they all have great names. I just sold some Iris Apfel um, sunglasses that were bifocals. I think I got 50 bucks for those. And I had bought those on eBay years ago for $20. So. That's kind of crazy. Another piece of pottery. This was 75% off. Um, this is Natural Elements. A little underplate or serving plate. And then I purchased a... Um, oh, what do you call the Japanese art of uh, floral arranging? Ikebani. 
This has a porcelain top. It is stamped. Rude Van Studio, St. Thomas, has a little stainless. This is nice. I'm sure this is contemporary, but I thought it was cool. Maybe a keeper, because it matches my kitchen. It would look kind of good over there, where I've got some of this color ceramics. <clears throat> and then the final piece I bought <clears throat> at my thrift, I don't know, I just something just called to me. I don't know, this could be just a hobbyist piece. But it does have a nice glaze on it, little Christmas plate. I don't know what it says here. I cannot read it. But I thought that was cute and it was $1.50. So no chips or cracks. Hopefully I can keep all this stuff intact. <clears throat> then I went to the local Goodwills on Wednesday. I went to, I never really, where did I get this? Oh, so yeah, I went to Goodwill on, um, let's see, I think it was, well, Wednesday, this was the best, oh, here, here's another piece that I think I got. Oh, I got this at Goodwill too. So I went into Goodwill, um, not sure what day this find. I don't think I got this at a discount, but this is a um, Fontanini 1985 St. Francis with the tag. I think this is about a $20 item. So that's kind of cool. And then um, I found this embedded Lucite ashtray bicentennial with the Kennedy bicentennial uh, half dollar in there. Didn't realize it when I got up to the cash register it has a little dent in it where it's fractured so it's got a few flea bites here and there but i couldn't find one online so i don't know what the value is i just thought this would be cute to keep for an ashtray as well but not sure what i'm going to do with that probably flip it and see what it can do got myself a tumble up i think i'm probably going to keep this Tumble up is for water on the bedside. It is awfully thin glass though. I don't see a maker's mark on it. I have to do a Google lens search and see if anything comes up. But that's a little bit, given my track record, that's a little bit scary to have on your bedside, but we'll see. I may just sell it too. Um, here's some more Dansk, Dansk mugs. I got these for $3.99. Um, and there's a set of four. They're Flora Bayberry. Uh, very similar to the ones that I purchased last week. So I haven't gotten those posted yet either. So let's see. And then finally at the Hudson Goodwill, I think that was... Oh, I did go to both Goodwills on Wednesday, my day off. So yeah, I must have got these at a discount. Here's a little... Um, Oh, I found one of these online, the name of the printmaker, but a little bluebird and a cardinal, and I thought these were really cute. They could be keepers. I could put them right over there where I've got the other bird pictures. I don't know, but I paid like 99 cents for them or a buck 50 or some ridiculously cheap price, so I was happy about that. Then yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, this is why I get getting confused, is yesterday I went to the Goodwill, by my work, which I ne rarely go to that one anymore um, because I don't work on Wednesday over there. But I walked right in and there was some lady looking at this. So I just kind of lingered by the vases and she put it down and I swooped it up. I paid $3.99, no discount for it. This is Eva Zeisel. She was a ceramics designer that worked for a lot of companies. And this particular piece is from Red Wing Potteries in the 50s, and it's um, town and country. So th I thought this was a really fabulous find. That's all I bought yesterday. Very happy with it. Hope I don't break it. Um, I think there's one listed for $65 on eBay. Um, I have sold a couple of pieces. I had a few. I had like a teapot and some other pieces that I've sold, so... That was a great find. Then I found a bunch of purses. These were all found at um, at actually my thrift store, and they were all discounted. This is an Emma Fox. That's a really good high-end brand. Um, what, 
I think I paid five bucks for this. Um, then I found a, um, I'm gonna leave that here, a Kate Spade. <clears throat> this is very nice. It needs to be cleaned up a little, but it's a white purse. Kate Spade, just a white hobo bag. In really good shape. It's a little, got a little bit of just grime on the bottom, but I'll clean that up. Then I found this Contempo purse from the 80s with snakeskin, purple and green snakeskin. That's a nice little find. That was five. And Elliot Luca I found at the little thrift store, the New Day. That's got the signature sort of braiding um, and then some metal work. That looks great. And then this one, which I think is going to be a keeper. This one I found at the um, my thrift store. And I think this one is a keeper. Um, it, I can't remember if there was a brand on it. Or, oh, I, am having, I am dropping. I got the dropsies today. Last night and today. Terrible. <clears throat> oh, this is AW Accessories expressly for La Renascente made in Italy. So let me pull the tag up. But I sort of like that. I might keep that. That's kind of in the vein of those fossil purses that I like. But that is my haul. I think I got everything in it today. I'm going to head it out to the Titans in a few minutes. They just got another estate. So I'm going to go see what they got. It's day two. Day one was on Thursday. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, no valuation, but at least you've seen the items and can look them up. Some of them I shared. I didn't look up a lot of stuff. Bolo. Um, yeah, so that's it. So drink water, keep moving, and use cannabis when needed. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. It's Brenda. I'm back from the Titans. And um, got a few things out there. Today's 25% off. Tomorrow's half off. But these items were all... A couple bucks and under, so I just purchased them today. Um, let's see. I spent $15.43. So let's get started and see what I got. They had a lot of um, international items. Evidently, the estate that they just uh, got was filled with... The people were travelers, so they... Um, got quite a bit of uh, vintage things from overseas. So that was cool. They were priced up, so I kind of stayed away from them. But I did find this sweet grass basket with a lid in really good shape. So I paid $2 for that. Um, just a nice little lidded basket, really well made. Um, I think sweet grass is from the South, but I think other countries have this um, weed as well. Um, another piece of Pigeon Forge pottery. Um, last week I got a little vase, so that was a good deal for uh, a buck. I got a um, cast iron uh, receipt holder. This needs a nut on the bottom though, so I'll have to get one for my husband. I got a uh, inlaid inlaid wood business card holder. Put your business cards in here. And you can also put letters or other things here. Or just set it up for two bucks. I thought that was a good deal, minus the uh, discount. Little uh, lipstick box from China. This is contemporary, maybe from the 80s. Put your lipsticks in here. You got your mirror. 50 cents minus 25 percent and then a corn husk doll somebody did a really good job on this look at the little embroidered face very cute the yarn hair but stuffed with corn husk the jointed legs for a dollar she said they had a voodoo doll out there too that somebody bought yesterday that would have been cool to see but here's some of the little things that i got um this little piece of um Pottery, I'm not sure where it's from. It's got a floral incision. It's an ashtray. It needs to be cleaned up.
but it is that sort of burnished blackware. So I thought that was a cool, good price for a dollar. Again, it needs some cleaning up. Ooh, they put the, looks like it, somebody had burned a candle, that's wax. So I will be working on that. Pair of um, sugar cube tongs, these are from Sweden. They might be sterling. I have a pair that match this, or a set that matches this extra. I can't read it, let's see, extra. P-R-N-S-A-L-P. Not sure, but they're really cute. They've got like these little ladies on them. I don't see a sterling mark, but I'm pretty sure that they might be. What's that say? Sweden. Extra plate. So that must be like quadruple plate. So maybe they aren't sterling. But I thought they were cute for a um, dollar, you know, maybe $9.99 about all I'm finding now is stuff to flip for lower prices. Here's a Trifari pin. Um, just a little swoosh, little silver. Not sure what that will do. I haven't looked any of this stuff up. But for a dollar, 75 cents for per piece here. Another little enamel pin. This has a little floral in it. I don't see a maker's mark on it. <clears throat> Doesn't fluoresce, not a diamond, but that's really cute. A couple of little frog pins that match. I don't see. Oh, this is Avon. And this is Avon too. I'll sell those as a set then. But hopefully, whoops, somebody will want those. Um, a little copper enameled seahorse. Thought this was just adorable. Sorry if I'm not showing these very well. Um, maybe homemade, handmade. Um, I think this is a little sterling ring with a little moonstone in it. I do not see anything inside of this. I like it. I hope it fits me. It doesn't fit me, darn it. Yeah, these rings were, there were a lot, quite a few small rings out there that were very, like, children's rings. Here's one with, a, looks like, a little emerald in it. I'm not sure. I'm going to be testing this. Could be unmarked gold. Could be a natural emerald. You just never know. So I'll be testing that one. A little, another little frog pin. This one was very neat design, and it has a maker's mark on it. Let's see. Clift, Clift, it says, but just your little, little froggy jumping. He's very cute. Tie tack pin. Then I got a little sterling pin with florals on it. One of these was bent down. Um, it's marked sterling up here at the top. It says. Uh, Sterling 925 and just some little incisions. Um, this was all crumpled up in their pin box. So that was a good find right there. And I think that's it for the jewelry. That's everything that I got from the Titans. Um, they've got a lot of new stuff out there. A lot of onyx and um, sort of ethnic art from different countries. Uh, may go back tomorrow for half off day. There's a couple things that I thought I might look at again. Don't really know, but um, that's my haul. So I'm going to insert this with the other video that I did this morning. And everybody have a great weekend. Bye-bye.